Sup Chooms, how y'all living? Hope everything is Nova and you're all having a preem week. So, over the past week or so, I've been hearing about this new hair loss treatment in the pipeline called Cosma RNA. Now, a lot of times, it can be pretty hard to get excited about upcoming treatments, since the whole process of approving a drug and then getting it on the market is such a very slow endeavor. For example... When was the last time anyone heard anything about Brizula? You guys remember that? I even made a couple videos about it. These days, almost nobody cares about it, and that's especially with such superior treatments on the horizon like pyrolutamide and GT20029, but even those treatments are likely at least a year away. Cosma RNA is a bit different, though, because it is a treatment that not only has promising research behind it, but it is a treatment that will be officially available to consumers later this month, at least in Europe, that is. And no, this is not just some broccoli theory that some moron on Reddit came up with one day that has some far-fetched theoretical mechanism. On the contrary, this stuff is the real deal, as it has been approved officially in Europe specifically for hair loss. So, being that I am a hair loss witcher, I owe it to you, my fellow chooms, to explain what this is and find out if this new product will be a worthwhile addition to a hair loss witcher alchemy build. Well, I was a bit confused at first because I wasn't sure what this Cosma RNA stuff was, but it turns out Cosma RNA is just the trade name for something called Sammy RNA. That's Sam I RNA, and I actually already did a video on that compound just a little over a year ago, so this isn't the first time the Hair Cafe Research Institute has covered this subject. My initial impressions about Sammy RNA were optimistic, and I was pretty enthusiastic about the research behind this stuff, so I am happy to see that it may actually become available soon. The initial study that was published in the journal Nature last year was a pretty small study, so I'm a little surprised that this has moved forward so rapidly, but that may be because I'm used to the standards of the FDA, which is the most stringent regulating agency in the entire world. But the FDA is not the only regulating agency out there, and something doesn't need to be FDA approved for it to be a legitimate treatment. But I am still surprised this stuff is going to be available in Europe so soon. So, to dig a little deeper here, I went to the Cosma RNA website, which looks like this, but which contains essentially no information other than a picture of grass growing. Well, I did find out that Cosma RNA is being produced by a company called Bioneer, and here is their press release. Yes, that's right. Cosma RNA is coming from our friends over in Good Korea, which is outstanding news, since that's where all the best hair loss research in the world comes from. No joke. Well, thanks to the miracle of Google Translate, we can get a rough translation of the website. So... From this translation, we learn that the good Koreans registered the products as cosmetic products through what's called the European Cosmetics Notification Portal. Apparently, this registration process requires some safety data, but I don't think it is as strict a process as approval of a drug that is taken orally. But anyways, Cosma RNA seems to have made it through the registration process, which once again, I'm a little surprised about since the product works by decreasing androgen receptors in the scalp. Also, it contains nanoparticles, which according to the European cosmetic notification portal are subject to extra scrutiny. Anyways, according to the Bioneer website, there was no problem with safety data at all, as there were no side effects and there was a response rate of 91%. Also, Cosma RNA is 80% water, so there was no sticky residue in the product. The rest of the article talks about how much money the company expects to make, which is great because, you know, we all have to make money. They expect sales of 160 billion won, which is the Korean currency. That sounds like a lot of money, but one Korean won is worth 0.00077 US dollars, which is still a lot of money, but it sounds more impressive in terms of Korean won. So... Like I said, Cosma RNA is the trade name for Sammy RNA. Sammy RNA is an inhibitor of androgen receptors, which you chooms already know are the receptors that are stimulated by the trash hormone DHT, which ultimately leads to hair loss. However, Sammy RNA is not a typical androgen receptor blocker like pyrolutamide or fluoridol. It's also not an androgen receptor annihilator like GT20029, which is another very interesting drug that is in development that I've done several videos on that I'll link below. No, Sammy RNA uses a completely different technology, something called RNA interference. How this works is that it uses short fragments of RNA called siRNA, which stands for small interfering RNA. These fragments of RNA actually interfere with the normal RNA in the cells that create the proteins in the cell, so they stop the synthesis of specific proteins. Each siRNA can be custom designed to just interfere with one type of protein synthesis, and the protein that Cosma RNA inhibits is the protein known as the androgen receptor. Of course, 
The angiogen receptor is a very important protein, and if this caused the RNA stuff when systemic, you'd end up with a lot of very nasty side effects because it would blunt the effects of not just the trash virgin hormone DHT, but also the alpha chad hormone known as testosterone. But siRNA by itself doesn't work on the scalp because it isn't absorbed well, and by itself it irritates the scalp. So to get around this, the Bioneer company developed SAMI RNA, which stands for Self-Assembled Micelle Inhibitory RNA, and what this means is that they found a way to package the SI RNA in a nanoparticle. The size of the nanoparticles is ideal for entry into the cells, and the coating of the particle prevents irritation to the scalp. The study I went over last year from Good Korea showed that without a shadow of a doubt, SAMI RNA suppressed the number of antireceptors in the cells. So in terms of mechanism, this treatment seems like a grand slam home run. In the same paper, the Good Koreans did two clinical trials of these nanoparticles. The first trial used a very low dose of the treatment, and it really didn't show any good response in hair growth, but it also didn't show any side effects from the treatment. The second study enrolled 60 men and women with androgenic alopecia and used a higher dose of the drug. By the way, the drug is just applied topically once a week, so it's not like minoxidil that has to be applied once or twice every day, so this is extremely convenient, and it would make it a very easy adjunct treatment to add to an existing stack like finasteride and minoxidil. Anyways, the results showed that the hair density improved in these subjects over the course of 24 weeks of treatment, with an increase in hair counts as well. There were essentially no ill effects from the treatment at all. So... There is very little I could say that is negative about this treatment. Almost everything indicates that it will be a great addition to our arsenal in defeating the slaphead curse. If I had to nitpick, though, then I will say that the study was fairly small, and some of the researchers were working for the same companies that make these siRNA drugs, so there may be the element of a conflict of interest here. But it appears that despite all of that, this drug will still soon be available and marketed as Cosma RNA, and that's at least in Europe. Who knows if it'll ever come to the USA, although I'm sure that's not going to stop people from acquiring acquiring it. I have no idea how much it will cost, but probably it won't be cheap since it won't be off patent, and also manufacturing nanoparticles usually is expensive, so cost is another potential downside of this treatment. I doubt this drug can take the place of a 5-air inhibitor like finasteride or dutasteride, but the fact that it works through a unique mechanism which attacks hair loss through a different angle means there is a good chance this might be an effective adjunctive therapy to an existing stack. The fact that it doesn't even have to be used daily makes it an extremely appealing treatment, as it can be a very simple and convenient way to boost the potency of a hair loss stack for the few people who don't get satisfactory results with the classic FDA-approved combo of finasteride and minoxidil. Anyways, I suppose we're all going to find out soon enough because, like I said, barring some catastrophic event, this drug will be on the market by the end of the month in Europe and Great Britain. I'm definitely interested in it, so hell, maybe I'll even pull a Derek from More Plates, More Dates and try it myself. We'll see. In any case, I'm extremely pleased to see we're finally getting something new that seems to be safe and effective, and I look forward to seeing people results in the coming months. So let's wait and see and pray to the hair loss gods for some glorious hair gains. God bless and I'll see y'all next time. Take care.